Alright, so I got a little further ahead than I thought I was going to tonight. Basically, regardless of, uh, I'm going to pull these walls out here and do the painting on those. And, uh, I really had nowhere to put all these LEDs as I wire them up. So what I figured, this is pretty much exactly where I want them. So what I did was get a larger piece of shrink wrap, threaded all the wires through that, melted that in the place that I want it to be. Uh, at that point, I separated the positive from the negative, whichever one of those two these happen to be, and coiled the wires up. I haven't stripped the ends yet. These are just for placement purposes, but I know I want these wires here to have this much length on them so I glued that down and uh, I didn't put any baking soda in there to help really crystallize it down so I can pull it up relatively easy if I need to and it's only shrink wrap so I can always put another piece on later if this one rips so having done that I am now free to pull these LEDs out of here and just let them sit in the hall for placement purposes. Oh, this guy that really wants a fight here. There we go. So, like I said, just, just saying, these will stay right in here, nice and out of the way. I can even tape these down until I need to call them into service. So I'll get the space occupied so I know where I have room to thread other things and so on and so forth. And separating all these wires into the two leads like that was definitely a good one. And that's what I'm going to do right here for this clip of the video. It's probably going to be boring as hell, but uh, it could be useful if you happen to do this modification or give you some ideas for uh, what you might want to do or if this will help on some other project. So let me go and get the tripod set up, and we'll go from there. So for this other side, what I did was get all the LEDs roughly in the position they needed to be. Uh, let me just make sure I'm in frame. All right, that's pretty good. So having figured out where I want them, I slid this heat shrink over all of those. Now, we'll pull them all out, give the wire a little twist so heat shrink when it shrinks down, if it has a surface to grip over, like the resistors in here, it seems to definitely do a better job. Normally I'd use a heat gun for this, which is basically a hair dryer, but uh, I don't have that at the moment, so I'm relying on old-fashioned lighter to do the work and I don't think it's as efficient it's probably more dangerous but it does still get the job done but you really have to be careful not to burn your regular wires because that does happen so expect it and this isn't very tight at all unfortunately well what will fix that is a little dab of super glue. Just like that. And all four are lighting up. So we got the wires cracked. I'll take, uh, got a set of precedent now. I'm using green and red to signify positive and negative. And I want to be consistent across every single set that I make. So, we'll pull out some of these greens, I guess, here. and try and wire these together. Okay, so red is positive, green is negative in this case. So blue is negative, 
this lead is negative, we're going green. And there we have one set of four LEDs for one lighting bay. And to finish it off, just like the other side, let's get these in a little order here. That kind of works. Still in shot, good. I want to make sure that each one has enough length plus a little slack to make it to its tube. Probably right about there will do it. So looking at my map here, the computer wall is right above this with about uh, 50, 60 LEDs going to that alone. So I definitely want to know how much space I have going on and this is definitely going to be a critical piece of knowledge here. So it looks like these definitely won't reach the old bus, and they're not going to reach, well, almost reach the new bus. So I'll have to uh, wire a splice into these at some point, probably somewhere close to this uh, heat shrink end, just to keep that nice and tight family going on. And that'll help solve on a lot of the wire clutter as well. However, to get back to this, what I'll do now is tack it down. So this is really the best place that I can think of to store these LEDs is in place. It should be relatively safe. And being able to sit off to the side like this so I know where everything's going to be once I actually pull these walls out. It's definitely very helpful. So at some point I'll uh, start running all these LEDs. I'll give them like a good 24 to 72 hour burn in because I like to know that they're going to work when they're called upon. And uh, I'll probably rig these up here and just run them all night just to see that they survive. That's the main point there. And I should also note that one of the leads on each of these LEDs is open and uh, could essentially get shorted by any sort of random accident. So uh, I don't think I'll be covering them up because they're all the same lead. I'm not worried about them accidentally crossing each other. Once they're actually embedded in the silicone here, I'll also be able to uh, cover them in that, which will also be a really good insulator. So I'm not too worried about that in this case, but generally, of course, you do want to protect both leads as often as possible. Same over here in this area, where all the leads are exposed. These are all glued down. Oh, of course, I picked the one that's not glued down entirely tightly, but all the rest seem to be. So there will definitely be some more sections where LEDs get glued down to the surface and put in place. And uh, this is definitely going to be a really fun and exciting aspect of the build coming up right now. But of course there will be a lot of tedium involved too because wiring all this up, one LED, 
two resistors, two lead wires, all the soldering involved there, plus several levels of heat shrink and all the stuff that you just saw here as well. So there's a fair amount, but once it's all done, it's really going to make this thing shine. And uh, I'm really enjoying this. So stay tuned for the next video. Thanks for watching as always. See ya.